Welcome back to Tea Leaf Project. My name is Stephanie and again we're behind the camera just because it's I'm filming in a different area actually and so uh, with everybody being home on this home isolation thing so we are making do in order to still bring you some tea reviews. So today's tea we are looking at is raspberry matcha from David's Tea. This is a new one they released with their matcha collection. And ingredients, cane sugar, matcha green tea, natural raspberry flavoring. So when I prepare my matcha, I do it iced. That's my preferred preparation. I just use this Tenzo tea bottle. And um, I did uh, let's see, six ounces, no, eight ounces water, eight ounces um, uh, oat milk today. It was oat milk. The directions called for five to six matcha scoops. So I did five. I generally, that's going to be probably way too sweet. But I generally make the first one at the full strength just to get a good indicator of the flavor. So we'll go ahead and pour it like so. Let it kind of get cold here a minute. Okay. Um, it is sweet, but um, let me take another taste of that. It does have a raspberry flavor. Um, I don't feel that the raspberry is as strong as what I kind of expected it would be. While the raspberry is definitely more apparent in this than, let's say, in the Adagio raspberry matcha, I find that one has a pretty subdued raspberry flavor. So it is stronger in here. And, you know, it's raspberry, but honestly, it's coming across as being a little... Even though it's a natural raspberry flavor added, it almost tastes a little artificial. I'm not sure why that is. Um, it's good. I don't think I would repurchase any more. I don't think it's that amazing. And again, I mean, it's the berries there, but I don't know. It's not coming across necessarily as raspberry to me. Um... Maybe a little artificial. It's, yeah, it's not quite a raspberry flavor. So honestly, I'm kind of disappointed in this one. Um, it's not really what I expected it to be. And I'm almost getting a bit of chalkiness in this. Yeah, I'd say there's definitely a bit of chalkiness to this too, for whatever reason. Um, yeah, fortunately, I don't love this one. I just don't think that raspberry is flavor is really on point in this and uh, it's kind of lacking and yeah you know it's it's okay I would not recommend probably picking this one up unless you're just a David's Tea enthusiast and you really want to have this for your collection um, I, I just don't think it's an amazing matcha and you know I, I luckily I don't find it to be horribly sweet which is good but again it's just not the kind of raspberry I guess I was looking for. Um, I was looking for maybe, you know, kind of like the raspberry in Tea by Daniel's Rated R Tea, where it's like a really strong, bright raspberry. And, and that's not what I'm getting here. It's just kind of a red berry fruit kind of flavor. Not really coming across as raspberry or distinctly anything else is honestly how I would describe this. So I think this one's a little bit of a letdown. If you have tried Davis Tea's raspberry matcha, I would love to know what you think about it. And again, I'm sorry about this kind of setup, but again, this is just the easiest until uh, things get to be a little bit back to normal. Uh, so that's it. Thank you so much for watching and we will see you next time.